Police killed and several injured in Indianapolis weekend shootings. An officer was gunned down and several others shot in a spate of violence that took place in Indianapolis's clubbing district over the July 4th weekend. In the first incident, a fire exchange broke out in a crowded Broad Ripple neighborhood after two men reportedly bumped into each other on the sidewalk early on Saturday. Both pulled out handguns and fired at each other, injuring a woman and six men on the crowded streets. In a separate incident that evening, two officers responded to a call about shots being fired in the 3400 block of Forest Manor. As the two approached a group of people in the alley, the rifle-toting gunman began shooting, prompting the police to return fire. One officer was fatally shot while the suspect was critically injured. The suspect, identified as Major Davis Jr., faces a preliminary charge of murder. Police said they would meet with Broad Ripple business owners to discuss ways to control street congestion and to intercede in minor disputes before they escalate to violence. The neighborhood has seen two other major shootings in 11 months. Not a YouTuber, just like making videos. And I normally don't like to do commentary on news stories and so forth, or, you know, things that happen in the news, but this right here happened in my own city, so who, who's better qualified to do a commentary than the resident of the city that, you know what I'm saying, the action has taken place and so forth. And also, there has been uh, updates to the story that you just saw there, so I'm going to go into it. You know, we're, we're talking about violence on uh, the, the 4th of July, you know, and, it, and it's getting a... Uh, getting pretty out of hand, you know what I mean? Or, or is it that these people um, <laughs> so overly excited that we won our independence from my Britain, you know? But, um, you know what I'm saying, there's been two uh, uh, separate uh, incidents, real bad incidents that happened in my city. One where, um, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, seven people got shot in the Broad Ripple area and uh, a police officer got shot. I'm not going to talk about that, the, the, the cop that got shot more so I'm going to go into the shooting in Broad Ripple. You know, when I heard about it, when somebody said, did you hear about the, the seven people that got shot over the 4th of July? And um, I was like, uh, were they British? <laughs> somebody said, did you hear about the seven people that got shot on the 4th of July? And I was like, are they British? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but, uh, you know, this, uh, let me talk about the Broad Ripple area. This, this, this uh, is an area, this, is, this uh, strip, where people go out and party on the weekends. And um, there was a shooting there. Now, per Broad Ripple is predominantly white. See, there's this strip, and it's only about, I would say, uh, eight city blocks long. It's very congested. And there's these bars that are all lined up, you know, bars and clubs all lined up next to each other. You know what I mean? So you can easily go bar hopping, you know what I mean? People go from one bar, don't like it, then they go to the other one, go to one club, don't like it, then they run to the other one and so forth. Um, you know, you have, you got, you know, historical landmarks like the Vogue, and then you have, uh, you know what I'm saying, a lot of franchise bars like Rock Lobster, Land Sharks, BW3s, Kilroy's, the Tilted Kilt. So, you know, some of you guys may have heard of some of these bars and their franchises. Um, but it, but it's, it, but it's a very compact area. You know, the the, uh, the majority of the party goers there, the patrons are all white. Now, particularly a younger crowd. Um, Butler University isn't too far. You know, what I'm saying. Um, from Broad Ripple, so yeah, so you have a lot of college kids, you know, you know, both black and white, but it's 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 people, you know what I'm saying, the, the Broad Ripple area, you know what I mean, just the people who live there, it, it's the suburbs, it, it's the burbs, you know, I, you know what I'm saying, it's a lot of well-to-do people, you know, live in Broad Ripple, you know what I mean, not just on the strip, but, you know what I'm saying, in the apartment complexes, and you know what I'm saying, there's nice houses, you know, in my city, you know, when you just refer to the Broad Ripple area, if you say that, hey, I live in the Broad Ripple area and so forth, you know, nobody's going to, like, look at it as a, you know what I'm saying, a, a squalid neighborhood and so forth. So, you know, I mean, a long story short, shootings there don't happen. 
you know and then when there's a shooting um, <laughs> and, and, and makes brown people look bad or it makes blacks look bad because you know what I'm saying most people will concur that the, sh that the shooters don't live in that area you know what I mean and, uh, and you know there was that partying um, is predominantly white people but there, there are a lot of blacks you, you also get concerts there you know what I'm saying the roots you know common came there you know rappers and so forth you know at a certain venue in Broad Ripple but of course pe people are going to overreact you know they're, they're going to take action you know I mean they want answers you know I'm like two dudes bumping into each other and both these dudes were armed you know what I'm saying what are the odds and they were trigger happy and they had horrible aim <laughs> you know what I mean and you know and in, 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 in a, on a crowded sidewalk in the streets you know, they start you know what I'm saying busting caps you know, a lot of people who got shot are white people, you know, and white people are like, hey, wait a minute, you know, I'm white, I live in the suburbs, I go to college, this ain't supposed to be happening to me, you know, white people, you know what I mean, they, uh, they take uh, um, uh, uh, precise and, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, uh, and then they, they take precise action. You know, because everybody was just talking about it. If this happened in the, uh, the black areas, you know, they wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be such big news, you know what I mean? It would be something uh, common, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, uh, regular, ordinary. You know, but usually when you have these shootouts, you know, where multiple people get shot, it's like at a parking lot at a black club in a black area and this and that. So, yeah, so it's, um, you know, I mean, the, the, uh, the violence or, or, or breach their neighborhoods, you know. So of course they're going to uh, react a different way. And, and I'll tell you that that see that there's, there's the reason why there's so many blacks. There's so much crime, you know. what I'm saying in the so-called black community because you know people probably bat an eye at it. But when it go when it goes into you know what I'm saying the upper echelon, then people react. Like you know I saw multiple news stories on this. And, and so forth and you know and the fact that we people don't take precise actions when this happened among the you know what I'm saying black people is the reason why it's going to keep happening you know now I, I read I read in the newspaper that was just printed out uh, today um, what 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 um, precautions what procedures are going to go on to stop this from happening again and what it is is they're going to um, Shut down. First, I thought they was going to shut down the strip because you know the newspaper headlines are like Broad Ripple to shut down the strip. Yeah, you know, I know. No, what it is, they're going to shut down the strip like at, at a certain way. You know, what I mean, they said that from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock, they're going to shut down one point. So basically, only half the strip will be opened and so forth. And they're going to shut down most of it through the traffic. You know, I don't know if the clubs are going to be hurting or people have to find. And optional routes to get to where they was going, but it creates a hindrance. You know what I mean? Business is is affected by this and so forth. So yeah, people are peed off, and you, and you already know what white people are thinking. You know, you you already know what they're thinking. They're gonna they're gonna be like this sort of uh, 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 apish behavior. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they should keep this in their own neighborhoods. Because now shops going to be affected, the residents going to be affected. But since they're going to block out half the strip, uh, so a lot of traffic can't get through there, and have to go an optional route. So the the nice neighborhoods are going to be overcrowded with people walking through the nice neighborhoods or driving through the you know what I'm saying the, the quiet streets that surround this uh, party area and so forth. You see what I mean? So it, it caused um, it caused a cataclysm. You know, and, and you know, a lot of people are just going to think that it's just going to, it's going to reinforce the idea that that blacks are, uh, you know, what I'm saying king tinkers <laughs> and so forth. You know, I know it, it's something like when when, it, when this happens in their neighborhood, it's going to be talked. You know, what I mean, there's going to be action. You know, I mean, they're not going to just you know let it go and be like, oh, it happened and it's business as usual. No, and you know, on a lot of business owners, they may be hurting for it. Because I know after the 4th of July, for a while, nobody was going to Broadway. You know, white people, they, they panic 
and whatever. And like, oh, I'm staying out of Broadway, but they're shooting, they're shooting everybody out. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, when it when it's a black club, because for instance, we have this strip club, you know, Sunset Strip was a predominantly black strip club, you know, and uh, they have shooting theirs all the time. But it'll be like business as usual. The only thing they would, they'll just beef up security in the parking lot. You know, I'm like, more people probably has died at the sun, got shot and killed in the sun scene. Now, bear in mind, the Broad Ripper shooting, uh, no, nobody, uh, from what I hear, no, nobody was killed. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, uh, uh, I don't know how serious the wounds are, but there's certain areas, you know what I'm saying, where people have gotten killed over and over again. But these clubs are still up. You know, it's like the Sunset Strip, you know, a black strip club with a big parking lot. And they're known to have shootouts in a parking lot and, and so forth. So I, I can't even tell you how many people, you know what I'm saying, got fatally. Oh, I was 86th in that parking lot or around that area alone. And they really don't do nothing about it. You know, like the, the club is still operational. They'll beef up security, but it's business as usual. You know what I mean? To them, to white people, they look at it as like, oh, this is just a, it, it's a zoo down there. You know what I'm saying? Let the animals kill each other and so forth. Um, but you know, I, I just, I, I, but I do have to commend, you know, what I'm saying these these whites, um, you know, taking action. I, I can't blame them. I can't blame them for wanting to do something about it, but to to make sure this uh this doesn't reoccur. Now, as far as the, the cop that got shot on Fourth of July, um, I don't really know much about that story. But you know what I'm saying? It's it, you know what I'm saying. It makes the black commonwealth in my city look pretty bad. When you know violence here is is pretty mild. You know you just you don't hear about you know what I'm saying. I'm like it, it's not as bad as uh, Detroit and Chicago. You know places like that. You don't hear you know what I'm saying my city's name being uh, talked about in political debates or the news and so forth. All right, that's all I want to say. Thanks for watching and Sally forth.